Does the United States seek collaboration with China? Currently, China's Chang'e 6 and Chang'e 5 lunar soil samples have garnered global scientific interest. However, the U.S. recently issued an open letter proposing to exchange aerospace supplies for China's lunar soil samples, a move seen as provocative. As one of the few nations with lunar samples, the U.S. appears hesitant about China's aerospace progress. NASA humorously pondering if their astronauts' failure to bring back lunar soil caused this trouble, highlights tensions. Why did China exclude the U.S. from lunar soil research? What does this U.S. stance reveal about international relations and China's aerospace future? Stick around to delve deeper into these complex issues. This open letter has stirred debate in China. While the U.S. can request lunar soil samples from China, China has no incentive to seek samples from the U.S., leaving the U.S. dissatisfied. NASA's chief publicly acknowledged that due to China's robust aerospace sector, the U.S. finds it difficult to cooperate and can only observe China's lunar soil retrieval efforts. Why is this so? China has achieved significant milestones in its lunar exploration, notably retrieving lunar soil from Chang'e 5 and 6, drawing global attention from the scientific community. However, the U.S. expression of dissatisfaction for not being invited to participate in lunar soil research reveals deeper issues in U.S.-China relations within the aerospace field. What exactly happened here? What secrets and stories are behind this? In 2020, the world faced unprecedented challenges. However, China not only successfully overcame these difficulties, but also managed tasks efficiently during this turbulent period. China's Chang'e lunar probe successfully collected its initial batch of lunar soil samples while conducting missions on the lunar surface. Scientists eagerly commenced their research on these precious lunar soil samples. As the challenging year drew to a close, China celebrated another pivotal moment with the triumphant launch of Chang'e 5. This mission aimed to land on the moon and retrieve additional lunar soil samples. The success was exhilarating as Chang'e 5 not only fulfilled its mission objectives, but also returned nearly 50 grams of lunar soil samples, instilling hope across the nation. In June of the same year, Chang'e 6 followed suit, successfully completing its mission and bringing back approximately 1,800 grams of lunar soil samples. These achievements not only showcased significant strides in China's lunar exploration endeavors, but also made substantial contributions to humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. After facing three failures in the 2000s, China achieved a significant breakthrough in space exploration with the successful landing of Chang'e 3 and the return of the first batch of lunar samples in 2013. Subsequently, Chang'e 5, as a continuation of the lunar exploration program, launched in November 2020 and successfully collected physical and chemical lunar soil samples for the third phase of China's lunar mission. In October 2019, building on research from moon samples, China invited over 30 countries worldwide to collaborate on understanding the moon's formation and evolutionary history. This marked a substantial advancement in China's lunar exploration efforts and expanded invitations for global participation in future lunar exploration plans. China remains dedicated to analyzing lunar soil and utilizing resources in its moon exploration program, extending collaboration invitations globally. Soluble minerals like oxides, sulfites, nitrates, and silicates in the soil are vital for plant growth. China aims to establish a lunar base and explore food cultivation possibilities. Its research on lunar soil holds potential to lead internationally and lay groundwork for future human space exploration. Recently, during monitoring probe operations, Chang'e 6 unexpectedly retrieved lunar soil samples showcasing China's resilience in completing challenging tasks and boosting global recognition of its aerospace capabilities. Lunar soil samples were divided into two parts for preservation. China's announcement of this achievement prompted strong U.S. interest in studying these samples, surprising China. While China invited over 30 countries for research cooperation, the U.S. was notably absent. This situation underscores China's aerospace prowess on the global stage. The United States has advocated for solving future challenges in human space exploration, but encountered China during a period of relatively slow economic growth. China, in turn, sought collaboration with the United States in lunar exploration technology. Despite China's repeated attempts to initiate cooperation, the United States remained unresponsive. Initially, there were plans for China and the United States to collaborate in lunar exploration. 
However, at the Chang'e 3 stage, the United States abruptly shifted its stance, asserting ownership of all moon samples and insisting that other countries must collaborate with them to study these samples. The United States' interest in studying China's lunar soil samples seemed driven by global scientific experimentation and human welfare concerns. Previously, the United States had voiced criticisms and expectations regarding China. However, China demonstrated it could conduct independent scientific research and invite researchers from other nations without relying on American participation. China responded firmly to the United States, leveraging its extensive aerospace experience and excluding the United States from collaboration invitations extended to over 30 countries. This stance was viewed by the United States as resistance. During China's efforts to construct an international space station with other countries, the United States doubted China's ability to independently build such a station. The United States also attempted to dissuade other countries from cooperating with China, but these efforts did not sway other nations to align with American views. This situation underscores the diminishing opportunities for cooperation between the United States and China in aerospace endeavors. It further reinforces China's capability to achieve independence and autonomy in its aerospace industry. In China's Chang'e probe project, China has achieved two successful moon landings. One mission conducted environmental data collection on the lunar surface for a month, while the other embarked on detailed exploration of the lunar environment. The high quality of these lunar samples collected has been enough to evoke envy from the United States. Consequently, China firmly rejected the United States' request to participate and proceeded independently with its lunar exploration tasks. In its journey of space exploration, China has adopted a distinct aerospace development strategy. Despite repeated refusals from the United States regarding China's lunar exploration plans, China remains composed and resolute in advancing its own projects. China upholds the principle of peaceful coexistence, yet it stands firm that progress cannot be impeded. A major power rises not solely through individual efforts, but through collective cooperation. China's Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6 missions successfully retrieved lunar soil, demonstrating China's strong aerospace capabilities and contributing valuable data for global research. However, the U.S. scientific community is discontented over not being included in the studies, reflecting concerns about China's rapid advancements potentially challenging U.S. dominance in aerospace and technology. There is also a deeper reason that the cooperation and competition between China and the United States in the field of aerospace coexist. Although the two countries have cooperated in some scientific research projects, competition is the main theme. The dissatisfaction of the United States may partly stem from recognition of China's scientific research strength, but is unwilling to see China surpass itself in this field. Faced with this situation, how should we view it? First of all, China's aerospace achievements are worthy of pride, representing the improvement of China's scientific research strength and the growth of national comprehensive strength. Secondly, international scientific cooperation should be based on the principles of fairness and openness, and no country should hinder scientific progress because of political or competitive relations. Finally, the competition and cooperation between China and the United States in the aerospace field should be more rational and open. Both sides should seek more opportunities for cooperation to jointly promote the development of human aerospace industry. The success of Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6 is not only a victory for China, but also a major step for all human beings to explore the universe. In the face of dissatisfaction from the U.S. scientific community, we should promote international scientific and technological cooperation with a more open and inclusive attitude, jointly promoting the technological progress and peaceful development of mankind. How do you see the future of U.S.-China relations in space exploration shaping up more competitive or collaborative? Join the discussion in the comments section below and let us know how you view the future of space exploration between the U.S. and China. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become part of the Revel Discovery community and stay updated on the latest in technology and space innovations. Discover the endless possibilities of tech with us for an exciting future.